Aki, Fiaz and Kane Baker look forward to a firecracker to kick us off on Friday night before we head into this firecracker, the Commonwealth Cruiserweight Championship between the champion Chris Billum-Smith and the challenger Nathan Thorley. This is a great fight, originally scheduled for our Cardiff card before the madness ensued. Chris, I'll start with you. Welcome. I feel like I'm a bit small down here, to be honest with you, so I'm going to come back up for, the, for you guys. Um, originally scheduled for... No, not Nathan's backyard, but obviously going into to Wales, to Cardiff, ready for a good fight, a tough test in a, a mad environment on Friday night. Yeah, absolutely. Um, obviously looking forward to the fight. I've been now had Nathan in my sights since it got announced in March. Um, so yeah, yeah, looking forward to the fight on Friday. Obviously saw the show on Saturday. Thought it was a great show. Um, and yeah, looking forward to putting on performance on Friday. I think when you look at the division right now, and you know, you got yourself and Nathan, and we'll see what happens on Friday night, but... I was talking to Tony Bellew about it yesterday where, you know, when he was on the domestic scene, if you like, at Cruiserweight, there was really no one. Now you've got, obviously, Lawrence fighting Glowacki for the World Championship. You've got Reactpour fighting Dion Juma as a good fight. You've got Tommy McCarthy. You've got yourself. You know, you've got other, other fighters coming through in the division. Right now, you've got to think this is one of the hottest domestic divisions out there. And I know you've talked about your keenness if you come through Nathan Thorley to go on and challenge maybe Tommy McCarthy or someone like that for the European title. Yeah, absolutely. I mean... It's been a hot division for a while now. Um, and we're all fighting each other at the moment. You know, I box Reactpool, Reactpool's box Massey, I box Glover. Um, and Nathan's, you know, me and Nathan are fighting as well. So everyone's willing to put it on the line and to prove, you know, who, who is the best. Um, obviously, Lawrence at the moment is just a few steps ahead of us. He's going on to, to World Honours. So it's sort of the best of the rest when, when it comes down to us all. And uh, I believe that's me. I've watched some of your interviews about this fight. Um, obviously give Nathan Thorley a, got a lot of respect as a fighter. Technically, you said he's very, very good. You talked about you feel like he might not be able to mix it at the cruiserweights with the, the bigger cruiserweights as well, moving up from light heavyweight. Do you expect your power to play a big part in this fight? Yeah, I do. I think uh, it's not just the power, but it's the, you know, the, the shot selection and stuff like that as well. But look, um, it's, not, it's not an easy task. It's, it's, uh, I expect a lot of awkwardness and I expect Nathan to carry a bit of power himself. Now he's moved up and he's filled into the weight a bit better. But um, yeah, I do think uh, the longer the fight goes, uh, I think the likelihood of me winning by a stoppage or a knockout will be, will be most likely. Nathan, welcome. Big opportunity for you as well. We saw you at the press conference in Cardiff. We were going to be down there at Shane Wells. Of course, now we're here in the bubble. You guys are not going to believe what you see on Friday night. It's going to be unbelievable. But a massive opportunity for you and, of course, Gary Lockett as well. Yeah, massive. Um, and it's when I'm grabbing with both hands. You know, I'm not giving it, giving it everything. For like, since January, been in the gym because obviously we were meant to fight May. May, yeah, May, yeah meant to fight May. And, you know, I, I haven't stopped training. So it's good sparring, good strength and conditioning. I've, I'm fit and ready and just can't wait for Friday, you know. Your career's been a little bit stop-start as well. That lockdown, is it, it's been a big help to a lot of fighters. I mean, I've seen fighters, you know, Terry Harper was saying literally the same thing. You know, this has been a four-month camp. I've never been in this kind of shape. Do you think you've needed that? You know, this has actually been, worked in your favour to get yourself in unbelievable condition for this fight. Well, yeah, it's, come a, it's a bit of a blessing, the virus. You know, it's not a blessing for others, but it's a blessing for me. Um, I've been able to, I've been furloughed from work, so I've been able to just to train full-time and get in incredible shape. And, you know, when I'm, just ready and ready to go. Obviously, have moved previously from light heavyweight division up to cruiserweight. Again, talking to Tony Bellew, he said how much he struggled at light heavyweight and felt so much stronger at cruiserweight, so much more robust and durable. Do you feel that as well? I mean, you're going to come under big firepower from Chris Billum Smith, but you feel up at cruiserweight, you're going to be ready to try and overcome that? Oh, massively. You know, I know Chris is big, I know he's strong, but, you know, I'm big and strong myself. So, you know, we're both two big, strong fellas. And I think it's going to be a good fight. Chance of, a, of a, the career so far for yourself on Friday. We talked about those other big fights as well. A victory for you would probably see you go and fight Tommy McCarthy for the European title as well. Just a, a golden opportunity for the career of Nathan Thorley on Friday night. Yeah, be, it, be, it would be fantastic. But, you know, I've got a job to do first Friday. And Chris, you know, I'm not, <laughs> not looking past Chris. Chris, for me, is my world title at the moment. You know, that's how I'm looking at it. That's how I look at every fight. Um, and I take one fight at a time. And... Um, yeah, just roll on Friday. And Chris, finally, looking to make a statement on Friday. We know this is going to be a very tough fight for you against Nathan Thorley, but as we saw last week at Fight Camp, what a stage, what an opportunity for fighters, not just to go and win, 
but to go and make a real statement around the world. Yeah, and um, I think the the experience I've gained since the Craig Glover fight, uh, obviously the confidence coming off the back of it, sparring two of the best cruiserweights in the world in Lawrence Coley and Maris Breedis, um, I think I've just improved tenfold since that fight, and I think that will show on Friday night. Well, we look forward to this one. It's going to be a cracker. The Commonwealth Cruiserweight Championship. Chris Bidham smith against the undefeated Nathan Thorley coming at you. Fight two of Fight Camp Week 2 on Friday. We're going to have a head-to-head, -head, guys. If you step up here now, please.